hello friends so today we'll be discussing about internal memory fragmentation so uh let's say we have our memory and this much is allocated to our os and this is for user processes okay so let's say we have a process p1 let's say we have some processes already running p2 then we have our p3 then we have our p4 let's say this much and we have some this is 1 mb hole left this is 1 mb hole left and let's say this is a 2 mb of hole okay now a uh, process comes with p1 comes with a memory requirement of 1021 kb of memory okay and but our whole size is 1 mb which is 1024 kb which is 3 kb extra okay now we can allocate the exact amount of memory which is required that is 1021 kb but in that case we need to keep track of this 3 kb remaining so this very small hole here 3 kb hole we have to keep track of that and it will be costlier than allocating the whole 1024 kb to it okay so what we do is we keep um our memory in form of some fixed size blocks let's say 1 mb blocks okay each is 1 mb 4 5 6 7 and nine. all are 1 mb so 9 1 mb holes we have okay now we have one mb blocks let's say okay now what we do is let's say a process comes with a memory requirement of 2.9 mb then instead of allocating this much we allocate in chunks of holes that is chunks of blocks that is we will allocate the nearest possible number of blocks which is fulfilling it so that is three blocks is 3 mb okay here 1 mb we are allocating 0.1 mb we are allocating extra okay now a process comes with 3.7 mb requirement then we allocate four blocks got it now uh it will be lying 1 2 3 4 these four blocks it will be covering so this will be p2 okay now one more process comes with a requirement of let's say 0.9 mb then we allocate one block to it so p3 will be allocated one block now a process p4 comes which is having a memory requirement of 1.2 mb okay now we have just one block left which is of 1 mb so we cannot allocate this process in spite of having the overall memory left is more than 1.2 mb because uh we have allocated 3 mb to a 2.9 mb required process so which is 0.1 mb extra 0.1 here extra then again it required only 3.7 we allocated four blocks to so 0.3 there extra and 
here it required only uh, it required only P3 required only 0 0.9 MB but we located 1 MB so 0 0.1 there extra and this is 1 MB full block remaining so that is overall we have our memory of uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 that is 1.5 MB which is obviously greater than 1.2 MB which is required by this process so in this case what happens is uh, our memory required is present but it is fragmented internally because it is uh, lying with other processes which don't even need it and hence we cannot allocate this memory to our process P4 so it's kind of a wasteful memory this kind of situation is called internal memory fragmentation hope you like the video thank you friends